we're getting some sun. This is the view that you want to come here for. Yeah, somebody <gasps> fell down in it, didn't make it. So what are you gonna get? You're gonna get the hot roll okay, and lobster bits. But they also have lobster mac and cheese. I mean, they've got so many options. <laughs> Look at how amazing. We're here at Ben and Jerry's. So this is the flavor graveyard where flavors go to die. Hey, do you have any bacon up there? We are on our way this morning into Acadia. So exciting. Definitely did not get out of the RV as early as that we had hoped, but that just seems to be our MO with two kids in the summertime. So anyway, hopefully we get in um, when we're supposed to for the time to entry. I'm kind of hoping that if we're like a little bit before or after that they're not like super, super strict, but we're gonna find out. Boy, it's really misty out here today. Look at this. Yep, we're gonna have to come back probably to. Right now, you can't see a thing. Yep, it's definitely it's too foggy, foggy and, and misty. And hopefully, she said the sun might peak out for a little bit. So hopefully, we can show you guys some, some of the beauty of this place. So I'm kind of like in a conundrum as far as what we do because. The forecast said that it was supposed to be partly sunny by 10, and it's 10, and this is, I think it's actually worse visibility. And I overheard some other people talking because to get to this road is on time entry. Now we can go into the rest of the park area just fine, but this Cadillac Mountain, I was hearing other people talk, like all of the time to entry tickets for tomorrow are gone. They're gone already? Oh right. boy. Do we want to continue to sit here and wait? We've already been waiting for three hours at seven o'clock. Cause literally you just can't see anything. The view is supposed to be amazing, but you can't see anything right now. So that's the biggest problem is once we leave this you area, we're done. Yep. All right, well. I know, I feel like we're gonna need a do-over of Acadia mm, at some probably. point. <laughs> yep. Look at that, now that we're getting some sun, this is the view that you want to come here for. So I'm glad that we didn't leave but let me tell you, we got here at seven and it's almost 11 o'clock. So we definitely had our patience tested and were tempted more than once to just give up. But it's probably still not as clear as it would be like on a clear, clear day. But at least I feel like that we didn't completely get robbed <laughs> with this experience at Cadillac Mountain. There is a ladder. Oh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, come on down. Yeah, Mom. Just hold on. Yeah, I'll help you down. There you go. Hold on. Okay, just step down here. Just step right here. Okay? Step right here. I feel like you're gonna split I feel like you're gonna split your pants. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna split my pants too. <laughs> so like looking out there, it's hard to tell. You see some of it that looks like it looks like it's the sea, but then it looks like it's land. Like, is there moss or grass or is it like sea in the rocks? Like, I don't know. Like, unless you would go down there and look closer, but it's interesting because I just don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah. Well, time to turn around. Yeah, I think now. so. So, I mean, here's the deal. We haven't even gone a full mile yet. So it's, we've gone 0.61 miles and it's taken us an hour to go a little over half of a mile. <laughs> and to bubble pond from where the parking lot is, is four miles. So that means we would still have 3.4 miles just to go, and then four miles, 100% back uphill. Five divided by five is five. It's almost noon. We still wanna get her her junior ranger thing. So anyway, I think we're gonna turn around and go back so that we have time to still go to the visitor center, 
get the Junior Ranger program, and I really wanted to see Thunder Hole. And Thunder Hole at about three o'clock, that's when we're supposed to see it because I checked the tides, and you want to see Thunder Hole at high tide, and it's like three to four o'clock is when it's going to be high oh, tide yeah. today. Yourself up. There you go. There, pull yourself up. You use use your hands on both sides of like, the rocks to but pull. Not like a hand pull. Yeah, pull yourself up. Hmm. All right. So what does it say to do? Well, we have to do three of the following activities. We have to interview a park ranger using the questions inside the back cover. So I'm glad we asked. Um, we stopped and asked the rangers because. She said it, the parking is going to be pretty crazy right now. So Where it's going to, yeah, it's going to be better okay. than the shuttle. Didn't make it. And the shuttle's going to be Seriously? picked up. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Somebody fell down in it, didn't make it. Like, so, oh my God. How did they fall down? Last week. Yeah. They fall down? That's actually kind of scary. I mean, and good what's, to know that you got to be really careful. What's yeah. in Thunder Hole? Holy cow. It's a big okay. hole. So, what's the plan then? So, we'll go pick up a shuttle right out here in the parking lot right. and okay. head down there. And then she said Jordan Lake like, is another. Really cool destination to check out, and the shuttle will take us there as well. Okay, so basically, we're just gonna leave the Jeep here. Yep. Okay, then I probably went. Let's grab my backpack. I need to grab my sharpener. I need to grab my sharpener. She's gotta grab her pencil sharpener. Right. I'm gonna grab my phone. All right. Let's yeah. Cool. Let's do that then. Right. I'm glad that you checked on that. Yeah. It's good to know. So, I'm grab my phone. It's good to talk to a ranger. Always. Trinity get her junior ranger badge, head back to the rig, let the dog out. I need to wash my pants. <laughs> and then we'll go eat lobster. Keeping up with our kids and travel schedule means we need to be getting the rest we need. And if we are not well rested, well, we don't have the energy to go and do and see all the things. We love being able to hike and explore our national parks like we did in Acadia. So I have been super thankful for a restful night's sleep. One of the upgrades we made to our RV this spring was a new mattress from RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. Their mattresses are made right here in the US and ship conveniently to you for free. We went with the Aurora Lux hybrid mattress and it's been great having a mattress that feels like a real bed and not an RV bed. Since since they offer different firmness options, heights, dimensions, RVmattress.com is a great resource for bedding needs for RVs, vans, campers, and even home. Funny thing is, I was actually sleeping better in the RV than when we would visit our home base. So we had RVmattress.com send us another Aurora Lux hybrid mattress for our home base as well. Their mattresses come in three different firmness options and have a 120 night sleep guarantee. And speaking of this guarantee, when we went to order our mattress, we thought after looking at the website that we would want the Aurora Lux hybrid mattress in a firm firmness. So that's what we had them send to us. However, after sleeping on it, we felt it was a little too soft for our liking. So we let them know. They sent us a firm one with no hassle and it's been perfect since. It was a super easy process to get and swap out and the process to have it shipped to us and get it in the RV was super simple. Their mattresses come rolled up in a box and wrapped in plastic. So when our mattress arrived, we hoisted it in the RV. Now they are heavy when they come. It was a two person job. Unwrapped the plastic and it poofed right up. 
All of their mattresses come with a 10-year warranty, so we are set until well after we are empty nesters. One of the reasons for this channel is to share with all of you in the RV community products we really love and use ourselves. And so we have partnered with RVMattress.com for 20% off for our viewers. If you are looking for a new mattress, check out RVMattress.com. You can click the link below or go to RVMattress.com forward slash grateful and get 20% off your mattress with the code grateful. Back to the video. I got the big one right here. So a few quick things we wanted to share with you about our particular trip to Maine, just because we like to be a resource for the RV community. But we have been staying at a campground called Hadley's Point, and this is a great campground. The sites are very spacious, they're very level, they're nice and gravel. When we got here, it was actually a rainy day. It wasn't muddy or anything like that at all, just because they really take care of the sites. We've just had partial hookups. So we've just had water and electric, not any sewer. So I've been doing laundry at the laundry facility here. Prices are very reasonable. One thing to note with the showers is they do charge for the showers here. So we've been taking some what we call Navy showers in the rig, but we've also used the shower house a couple of times as well, just to conserve on that gray tank space for us. Very easy to get into the national park. And this is a plus, we have another couple some of our insiders that have been traveling with us on this summer caravan and they don't have a tow vehicle there are shuttles that come directly to the campground you can hop on them and ride into the park for free you can even go into the bar harbor area all of this area is accessible through the free shuttle which has been super nice and we actually utilize that during our day in the park just because it was more convenient to do that than to try to find places to park within the national park itself so great resource when you are staying in this particular bar harbor area we'll leave a link in the description below for this particular campground called hadley's point we did book our reservation in advance however our insiders were able to pick up a cancellation and they got lucky they got over from the full hookup side, picking up a cancellation. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> about that. The slide is still, is completely broken now, obviously. And so now we actually learned how to manually bring the side in and out. So we have um, parts on the way from Amazon, but for today, to bring the slide in, we're gonna have to do it manually. So it's not as intimidating um, as I initially thought it was. It's pretty easy. Basically all you do is just flip this 
um, lock on the motor and take the wrench and you uh, just wrench it in manually, one crank at a time. Keep coming. Okay, uh, go more to your passenger side. Bring the back end more to the passenger side. Keep going to the passenger side. So you're going through the slides. Okay, that should be good. Straight now. Keep coming. Okay, stop there. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so I think the plan next <laughs> is that we'll go to Ben and Jerry's because it's about 30 minutes from where our campground is. And then We'll just kind of check that out and then come back. And sometimes it's just like that with the RV lifestyle when you're living this life on the road and you're not retired. Like we still have jobs, like we still have things that we have to do. And so it's an adjustment. You have to learn how to take things a little bit slower when it comes to just wanting to go and do and explore all the time. And then when you're at a campground as beautiful as this one, I almost just want to hang out here anyway. And then tomorrow is going to be a long drive day. Ice Give me ice cream with whipped cream. We're here at Ben and Jerry's. Give me ice cream with whipped cream. Thank you, sir. Ice cream. They've got some things on the menu that I know aren't like at your typical Ben and Jerry shop. So what are you gonna get? Fish food. Fish food. You know that has marshmallow? Yep. And the kids gave you a list. <laughs> right? Yes, they you did. Have, like, the kids list. It's pretty simple. It is pretty simple. It involves sprinkles. I don't know if I want to go with the Americone dream or the milk and cookies yet. I'll have to decide when I get up there though. Ice cream. Here. My dog tag is coming loose. Pull the brake. Pull the brake. I can't pull the tub. <laughs> Can you walk in a straight line? <laughs> so I think one of the cool things that I like about just the whole story and the history of Ben and Jerry's, if you look it up, is that they were childhood friends and uh, decided to kind of not necessarily go the college route. One of them actually couldn't get into medical school, which they wanted to do. And so they decided to do a correspondence course from Penn State University back in the 70s on how to make ice cream. And so they did, that was back when distance learning wasn't what it was today. You did everything by mail and you would mail stuff in and, and mail it back. And so they learned how to make ice cream. And then eventually they actually were like the OG van lifers and bus lifers where they started making their ice cream and they would load it on a bus and then they would drive around the country and sell it out of their bus and out of their van. You really need us the sweet taste of my homemade organic fuel. And start to get people hooked on this idea of chunks of things and everything like that in ice cream. Eventually it was bought out by Unilever Corporation but they wanted to remain just a controlling interest. So they're one of the few companies that Unilever has acquired that has its own board of directors. So they're very autonomous in the sense that they can still make those business decisions, but just kind of a really cool story. And obviously 
hey, this is the American dream of being able to own your own business and see a girl like this. So this is the flavor graveyard where flavors go to die. So are you getting emotional? So emotional. We'll go pay our respects. Let's go pay our respects. Is Sweetie it? balls. Sweetie balls? No, no, Trinity, what does that say? Sweaty balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trinity. What? Sweaty balls. Nothing like a sweaty ball. Sweaty balls. Good times. Good times. All right, what trail are we on here? We're on the Cadillac Southridge Trail. This is so fun and so exciting. And I'm so glad that we came here. Like this is why you come to Acadia National Park. This right here, it's just absolutely amazing. I'll be driving. Yeah, I'll be filming. Every time, every time. I've got a little editing buddy. Pathetic. She's helping me make all the cuts. Telling me what to leave out, what to put in. Mom, can you get me a bottle? So far, she wants all the only animal shots. That's <laughs> it. She's like, leave all the animals, take all the people out. The dog. Filthy. It's like, get rid of the dog. Filthy people, get rid We're of the dog. We're getting rid of the dog? No, the cat says that. The dog shouldn't be in that video. I should have a voice. I should have a voice. Oh my gosh, can you hear the dog? Yeah. There's so yep. much ruckus in there right now. It's Kids. Hilarious. Kids and dogs mm -hmm. in an RV. The future is golden.